ATG coaches, I've got a sequence here for you to get your shoulders prepared for just about anything. Uh, first one is going to be very familiar, work in the inner range for the posterior delt, okay? The back of the shoulder is working hard here. If we can stretch across the body and really fight for that last part, that's going to help us prepare for what's coming next. The next one is to stand on the band. And then lateral raises or even getting up to all the way overhead. So those who are familiar with weightlifting, you can do it a bit like a snatch. Bringing life into the shoulders. Next one's a bit of a funky one, inner range for the pecs. Okay, so crossing the body, you're gonna get quite a, you want to get quite a bit of tension in the band with this one. Cross the body, about 10 reps, 10 reps. Those who have underactive pecs, which is always an issue for me, you're more likely to tear a muscle that is tight and weak. Now that's gonna make the muscle tight because we're working the inner range, but it's gonna activate it, which means we can get into the, the next part. Okay, so once we've got the inner range warmed up, some life into the shoulders. Then we're going to go into outer range. Okay, so this is just restoring what kids are able to do. Okay, so this band is quite light for this movement, but you'll see I'm getting that Usain Bolt shoulder position. So you want to be able to hold the shoulder in this position. When you go lower, you're gonna find it even more, more stretch. And as you go heavier with the band, it's gonna feel more and more intense, more like a back lever. All right, from there, out of range for the pack. For this position, use the pack, lower, use the pack. 45 above the body, is the pec, all right? So we wanna build this outer range strength so that we don't get pec tears to restore human mechanics to the shoulder, how the shoulder is meant to be. If we undid a lot of the uh, you know, sitting and forward, forward shoulder posture that's common in the modern world. Next one, I like to double over the band. So we're gonna grab, grab it as if it's like a bar, like it's a bar above the head. And we're doing like a behind the neck press. We're gonna come all the way down to 90 degrees behind the body. If you're getting any pain or impinging in the shoulder, just go to where the challenge is. You might find switching the triceps on a little bit more helps to get it through as it's getting better. You can try to let the elbows come in behind the body as much as possible. And you're gonna find this makes your behind the neck press, which is often really uncomfortable for guys who've done a lot of bench press, done a lot of weight, it will become um, much easier. You're gonna feel a lot of life coming into the shoulders with this sequence. Test it out, let me know your feedback.